Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. In today's video, we got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about, a brand new book release, some upcoming merchandise, as well as the crazy news that the FNAF movie trailer actually got leaked online. So frankly, we have so much to go over in today's video, so if you're excited, don't forget to scroll down, tickle that sub button if you're not subscribed to the channel just yet, and let's kick this video off by talking about some brand new book news. First up, a couple days ago on May 2nd, we had the official release for Tales from the Pizzaplex number 6 Nexi. Some people were able to find the book a few weeks early in some bookstores, but now if you weren't able to find it early, should definitely be in those bookstores. Next up, we got a quick update on the upcoming 8th Tales from the Pizzaplex book B7 number 2. The cover is received a slight update, just a few changes, mainly with the lighting as well as the eye color for the creature on the cover, which I'm not sure what their name is, I don't even want to guess what their name is. Strangely enough, that weird foot that is just on the cover is still there, I don't know why it's so critical that they're leaving it on the cover, but yeah, that is an updated cover for B72. Next up, we got a brand new graphic for the upcoming official FNAF cookbook. This is for the Table of Contents. It's now been spread across two pages with more art of Freddy, Chica, Foxy, Bonnie, as well as the Glamrock animatronics. From the looks of things, it looks like all the recipes are mainly the same. A few name changes here and there with characters. A few new additions and a few removals uh, have been noted, but I don't think it's anything too noteworthy. But that is an updated look at the upcoming official FNAF cookbook. It's going to be a very interesting book once it releases seeing everyone in the community make all these various dishes. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on all this book news and now let's move on to some brand new merchandise. First off very quick we have a brand new security breach themed shirt. This is a tie-dye t-shirt featuring the sun and moon daycare attendant. This was found on Hot Topics website. Pretty interesting shirt. I don't know why they keep going back to these tie-dye designs but hey it's on the site if you want to go pick it up. Next up we got Scarlet Joker back in the news again because they leaked a few more upcoming FNAF Funko products mainly some brand new security breach snaps. Not too long ago, we got a brand new wave of Funko Snap figures announced, mainly themed around security breach, and a lot of people were kind of confused and disappointed mainly that Roxanne was missing. There was like two recolors of Freddy and Monty, but no Roxanne at all. Well, luckily, looks like she's finally getting her time to shine. As well as a Snap figure for the staff bot, and also Helpy, most likely the design Helpy has in security breach, not what he looks like in Pizza Sim. No clue when these are coming out, but around the summer is when the main security breach line releases, so probably around then a bit after that I would assume is when these figures release. Moving on now to Hex we got our first look at the sitting magnetless version of their Bonnie plushie. He looks absolutely adorable as a reminder these sitting uh, Hex plushies have no magnets so they're gonna come at a uh, cheaper price but that's not all the news we have for Hex because the other day Daco put out a community post on his YouTube channel announcing a few details with Hex and his next charity stream mainly pointing out that Hex's magnetless sitting plushies are planned to release sometime this month in May and then next month in June, we're going to be getting a special edition of that Spring Bonnie plushie we saw. Docker also announced that prototypes for their Mangle plushie as well as their Withered Freddy plushies have been created. Withered Freddy having a few loose threads hanging out for detail to represent his witheredness, of course. So definitely stay on the lookout for more details regarding that upcoming charity stream. I've also heard that Kane Carter is interested in a few more donation goals for Pop Goes. Moving on now to YouTube's, they posted yet another video showing off their upcoming Ennard plushie. And in the comments of that video, they actually replied to quite a few people revealing some upcoming possible merchandise with FNAF. First up, them replying to yes, with someone asking will there be a standing Helpy or Vanny plushie? Not sure which one of the two it's going to be, either Helpy or Vanny. Replying maybe, maybe to Ennard getting a physical figure himself, as well as reconfirming some Mango products are coming soon. Plushies, figures, we knew about that. And you know, actually speaking of that Mango plushie, it's actually one of the plushies included in the next wave of plushies being dropped by U2s. As we can see from this teaser they put out yesterday, it's going to feature Circus Baby, which is a brand new plushie we didn't know about, that plushie of Helpy laying down, the Glitch Trap plushie we also saw a teaser of, Ennard, who we also just saw a video of, as well as Mangle, who we also got a teaser of. Not sure when this wave is dropping, but hopefully pretty soon, considering we've seen almost all the plushies involved. It's just kind of baby that we don't know a whole lot about. But that's actually not it for U2s, because on TikTok, they also showed off their upcoming Nightlight featuring the Sun Daycare Attendant. Definitely a strange product that I was not at all expecting, but I guess it makes sense for Sun because he wants to keep the lights on and well, that's kind of what a nightlight does, so yeah, it makes sense. And then finally for U2s, we also got a teaser for version 2 of Fusion Z Gamers figure. This time 
around, it looks very similar to what Fusion's uh, logo looks like with kind of the twisted version of Foxy instead of the more human-like appearance of his last figure, so that's pretty exciting. And now moving on to the Fazbear Fanverse, we've got some pretty crazy reveals for the upcoming T-Jock Ignited Collection because Nixon, the creator, the other day was teasing a reveal for the brand new model for Ignited Chica, dropping hints here and there saying that she has the biggest overhaul so far for the Ignited characters, using a melted face emoji to describe her new appearance, and of course, clarifying that she will keep the missing lower jaw, as well as revealing it's likely she's still gonna crawl out of the wall in the office level, which was a terrifying sight, so I'm glad he's keeping that in. And then the time finally came, and this is the brand new model for Ignited Chica for the Ignited Collection for the Joy of Creation. An absolutely terrifying design. It's a little difficult to make out what the full model looks like with some of these renders, but oh my gosh, she just looks absolutely foul, but of course, in a good way. The melted face emoji definitely, definitely was a perfect way to describe this new model. The lower jaw is just as terrifying as always, as well as the missing arms. For a bit of the memes, Nixon also posed Chica in a JoJo pose, showing off a bit more of her full body model, and then showing off what he claims to be one of the scariest pictures he was able to make with her, and I mean, he's absolutely right. She looks freaking terrifying. And lastly, here's a picture of the brand new model, for Ignited Chica featuring the iconic Ignited characters' as eyes texture. Just an absolutely insane model. Once again, Gabriel, who's the person who actually modeled all these brand new Ignited characters, knocked it out of the park. I'm amazed every single time we get a brand new reveal for these characters. And Chica might actually be my new favorite. I don't know. She just looks absolutely terrifying. I can't wait to see what she looks like in game. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on this brand new model for Ignited Chica. Do you think it's an improvement? Are you missing the old version? And now let's move on to the big topic. The main reason why you probably clicked on this video, the FNAF movie. Because we got some pretty crazy reveals to talk about a brand new cast announcement that kind of throws everything up into the air. Doesn't Matter of fact, let's just kick it off with that. Because the other day we got the announcement that actor Garrett Hines has been cast as Mike's dad in the upcoming film. If you're new to FNAF, you may be like, what's the big idea here? Like, why is this so crazy? Well, Michael's dad is William Afton. At least that's what's been heavily, heavily implied for years. Basically, the entire community collectively agrees that they're related. And now we get this cast announcement that Matthew Lillard, who plays the purple guy, William Afton, isn't Mike's dad? It's pretty weird. A lot of people are just assuming this character is going to be a stepfather, which, you know, could make sense. I can definitely see why Mike's mom, who I believe was cast by uh, Jessica Blackmore, I believe is the actress for Mike's mom, I can definitely see why she'd want to leave like a sociopathic killer who just goes around killing a whole bunch of kids in a pizzeria, so... I mean, maybe this is Mike's stepfather, but I feel like it would clarify that. I don't know. It's certainly very weird. I can't even think of any other explanations just because this is so mind-boggling to me. I'd love to know what are your theories for this Mike dad character in the comments down below. And now, let's talk about it. So, the trailer for the FNAF movie, unfortunately got leaked online. It showed up in one of those surveys that people take to kind of gauge general interest for trailers for upcoming films, and some person just whipped out their phone, started recording, and then uploaded the full thing to YouTube. Now, I want to make one thing clear. I'm not going to be showing the trailer in today's video. In fact, the video that showed off the trailer has since been taken down by the uploader. I'm absolutely devastated. It got leaked online like this. I did bite the bullet and give it a watch, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. I will say that, but I'm definitely going to wait to talk about it in full detail until we get that official reveal from Blumhouse with the full HD version of the trailer because I mean I don't I don't want to show you a leaked trailer because it was super blurry it was quite hard to make things out there was giant text across the entire trailer it just it's not what I want to do you know respectfully we've been waiting years and years and years for this movie for this moment to finally get a trailer for it and I'm not going to make a video showing off a leaked blurry version of the trailer just for clicks and views. No, instead, I'm going to clickbait a FNAF news video, so I still get the clicks and views. <laughs> but since it has leaked online, hopefully, at some point pretty soon, we can get the full HD version of the trailer, because I feel like Blumhouse and Universal aren't going to want to miss this. I'm sure they're well aware it got leaked online, and if I were them, I would act pretty fast in getting it officially out, you know? But that is going to do it for this FNAF news video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Once again, love to know your thoughts and theories in the comments down below on that Mike, you know, that Mike dad situation. I'm still very confused about that. Your thoughts on that brand new Ignited Chica model, maybe some speculations for some donation incentives for Daco's upcoming charity stream. But that's going to do it for this FNAF news video. Hopefully you guys have an amazing day. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.